Good morning everybody, it's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we made it back to Rogueport after our trip through Petalburg and we got a bunch of stuff taken care of. In this episode, we are headed into the Boggly Woods with our new friend Punio, who has very adorable sounding footsteps. Let's head inside! Very generic tales. Chapter one is just castle and dragon. This one's the great boggly tree in the boggly woods. Ooh, this place looks cool. This is one of my more favorite chapters story-wise, but graphic-wise, it is stinking amazing. So, the boggly woods, huh? It looks mysterious, all right. What do we run into next? Um, okay, just a bit further and we should be able to see the great tree. The Elder and her friends are waiting for us there. Oh, and my little sister, too. Sister's not friends with the Elder. Come on, let's go! Now, what I love about this place is if you jump up and the flowers they actually pop up and everything, like, it just changes so drastically from the Petal Meadows. It's like something we've never seen before in any Mario game or Paper Mario game or anything like that. I really love this art style. Just keep on hanging through here. We have a save block in case you want it, but I do not need it. Uh-oh. Weehee! Time to go to work, lovelies! Vivan, you understand what we've got to do, yes? Mm hmm A, find that Mario guy, and B, steal the map to the Crystal Stars, right? We can just do away with Mario and his friends, can't we? Or is that bad? Oh, bad things happen all the time, Vivan, but you're right about our goals. If my information is correct, Mario should be coming down this road quite soon. You must ambush him here and get that map. Hmm, what's this now? Vivan, what's that you're fawning over there? Oh, what? You mean this? I found it in that tree over there a while back. Isn't it a gorgeous necklace? It was so lovely. I just had to pick it up. Hmm, Vivan, for shame! Picking up someone's scraps? Disgusting! Greedy! But enough about that, Vivan, my dear Packrat. Bring out the sketch of that Mario guy that you got from Grotus. Mwee! Ah, what? I... I don't have that. You said it was way too important, so you took it. You should have it. Don't be ridiculous. I don't have that thing. You were in charge of it. You wretched little worm. Blaming me for something you probably screwed up. But... I... Ow! Oh! Oh, what is it, Marilyn? Huh? What's that? A mustachioed fellow? This is no time for such nonsense, you great oaf! Save your games for later! <laughs> Get it? Save your games for later? Now, now, where was I? You, Vivan, don't tell me you lost our precious sketch! But, listen, I... Look, it's not my fault. I never had the sketch. Silence, you dits! Such impudence. How dare you talk back to me like some rebellious child. It's clear to me that the only rational for your type understands is force. For your punishment, I'll be taking that necklace you just found. Yes, so sorry. But, but, him. Oh, you're horrid! Now, before anyone gets angry, I know her name is Vivian. You don't need to explain to me. It's just another one of those instances where I misread it as a kid, and I did not notice it for several years, and I just am now stuck calling her Vivan for all eternity. I hope you will allow me to just go about that and be okay with it. But in all seriousness, oh my god, Vivian! See, I absolutely love her. She's one of my favorite characters in the entire universe. I love her so singing much. Oh my god, I'm just so happy that she's here and everything. I just like, hey, you haven't seen this character in so stinking long. Like, it was just like, I don't know. I just adore her so stinking much. I don't want to go into it right now, but she's absolutely one of my favorite characters in this entire game and in video game history. And I absolutely adore her and I love her and everything. And I just hate that she's being tortured by these horrible people because I relate to it so much because I have crummy life and stuff. I have crummy life and stuff. <laughs> what am I to do? 
Uh oh. Ah! What is it, Mr. Mustache? Leave us. Scram right now. I have no business with you. Yeah, they don't know what I look like yet, so they're just okay with me existing and stuff. But Marilyn seemed to have gotten the right idea, but uh, she didn't believe it. So whatever. Up, oh, sleepy sheep inside that tree. Oh, uh, but yeah, I just, oh my god, Vivian's one of my favorite characters in video game history. I'm just so happy that she's here. Oh my god, I love her so, so much. I just wish we were meeting each other on happier times. Oh, uh, whatever. We're gonna talk about how wonderful Vivian is later, but for now, we're just gonna keep on going through here. I love the stinking floor in this area. It looks so stinking cool. And hello! What doesn't look so stinking cool is this enemy! Oh, got him on the rebound. That's what I call the old boomerang shell tactic thingy. No one calls it that. Uh, we got new uh, enemies, so we gotta go and switch to Gumbella and show off the uh, Pale Piranha. We actually already got the club taken care of, so I don't need to tattle him. See, you guys? It was good that I did the optional boss play because I got to skip out on a tattle, sort of. That's a Pale Piranha. You know about these guys, the famous piranha plants? This colorless sp subspecies is adapted to boggly woods. Ah, the wonders of nature. Max HP is 4, attack is 2, and defense is 0. If you try to jump on them, they'll totally chomp on you. So you can't use your jumping abilities. Ouch. <laughs> okay, counter this. Okay, very good. So you could win that boss fight by just doing super guards, but it's not the easiest thing to do, so I don't blame you if you didn't do well on that. Gonna go ahead and hammer him. Hammer time, buddy! So it may not actually be a good idea to have the uh, power bounce badge on since we have two enemies right here that we can't even use jumps on. So I very much recommend that you keep coops out in this area. Go ahead and hit him one more time and we're good. Oh wait, it didn't work. Interesting. What? Okay, now he's electrified. Anyone who makes physical contact is gonna get hurt. Cool. Uh, Coops, you got that point of defense or are you gonna get electrified? Uh, didn't get electrified, thankfully, so that's good. Oh, wow, this is actually kind of bad. I need to get the super guard, otherwise I'm stuck here. Uh, you could use Earth Tremor, that's another way you could do it. Or use Power Smash, but I don't want to waste the- Eh, we're close to a level up, so... now he's at 1 HP. Uh, I'm just gonna defend. And then, Koops, I'll have you defend. I like how he- Oh, I thought he went to his shell whenever he defended. Okay, very good. And he's gone. See, I don't need no Earth Tremor, I just got good old Super Guard. Take a drink for every time I mention the Super Guard. I wonder what happens more, I mentioned the Super Guard or I mentioned the previous Paper Mario game. Uh, let's go over here now and hit that. Nothing in here, nothing here. This is the last chapter where I'm going to be hitting every single tree in existence, I promise. It's just in these first two chapters they got a lot of secrets in the trees. And then after that I'm just like, ah, oh, forget it, I don't care anymore. Uh, do I want to fight you? I do, but you are just annoying to deal with. So this would have been, wow. This would have been a great time to show off Earth Tremor, but unfortunately I was just like, let's use it on the one Goomba that has one HP left. That's a good idea, right guys? No. Oh god, it went into the audience, how sad. Again, it gracefully missed Luigi, how unfortunate. And Luigi, what the heck are you talking about saying you're trying to save Princess Eclair of the Waffle Kingdom? You're clearly just hanging out here at the movies. I'm trying to sound all big and important stuff, yeah, I don't think his story's all cracked up or whatever. Uh, it's not all true and whatnot. Get that stuff. I wish we got some hearts, but oh well. Uh, gotta hit this guy. Uh, maybe, possibly. Just always so stressful with piranha plants because they keep on popping up and everything. Uh, we're gonna hit you, thank you. Oh god, four piranha plants. Oh, the spell's coming into effect at a very good time. It's gonna double the star points we got in this battle, and it's gonna push us over to a new level. 22, 24 star points, I can't count. And a level up. Woohoo! Gonna go ahead and upgrade our HP. Very, very nice to have 20 HP now because we've been having way too many close calls in the past previous chapter. The past previous chapter, I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that. Uh, I think we got all these trees just to make sure because I'm getting all kerbobble fobbled. More like kerboggle fobbled because we're in the boggly woods. Her, her, or something. Uh, just keep on hitting these. Got nothing for us. That is the great tree over the yonder. Over the yonder. Hey, can you see a big tree? It's not just a big tree, it's the great tree. That's what I was telling you about. That's where we punies live. That's home. Uh, of course it's not just us in there. Lots of jabbies and piters too. Uh, anyway, Mario, follow me! 
But first, let me get an in coupon that we can't even carry, so I'm just gonna throw it away. Like, it was just bouncing up and down up there. That was really funny. Uh, I got a corn. How wonderful. And nothing else. So, we're just gonna go ahead and follow him in there. And yeah, it's a great tree that we go inside. So, pretty interesting, I guess. That we're going to go inside the tree. But inside of this tree... Is another tree! Yeah, pretty amazing, right? The Great Tree. Just head on over here. Where's that punio boy? Boy! You get over here now! Eh. Oh no. What's the matter? Eh, yeah, well, does it look? This door wasn't here before. Someone just installed it. Oh, uh, let's open it. I thought I could finally save everyone. I'm a fool. Wow, people swear to walk right through me. Hey, don't take it so hard. It does look sturdy, though. What do we do now? <laughs> Got it! My god, I was singing exhausting. But yeah, I have the power of playing this game beforehand, so I'm gonna- Wow, I was gonna get to where he was going before he did, but I failed because I failed at jumping. Let him give it a few minutes told me about a secret entrance somewhere around here. Listen, listen, through there, I'm completely sure of it. The uh, problem is, I don't find this kind of going easy. I mean, it won't be labeled secret entrance. What should we do? Not to be a worry wart, but how in the heck can we find somebody's secret entrance? Well, it's hidden by this invisible thing. We need to find it and remove this thing. Boy, but removing a normal thing just sounds tough enough, let alone an invisible one. Jeez, the innuendos just keep on coming. Uh, oh, got it! Flurry! Mmm, McFlurry. Sure, the amount of Flurry's powers can help us. Flurry is a refined and dignified loon who lives in these woods. The author says she's one, a wind spirit who can wield the powers of the air with ease. You see where I'm going with this? She used the wind power to blow through the new way! Well, it won't hurt to try. Flurry lives in the deepest corner of the woods, so... Let's bring it back to the direction you came from. Oh boy, backtracking ahoy. But is there anything else in here? I believe there's something if we go to the right. Ooh, I see something in the distance. It is... An FP plus badge. Increase the max FP you have by five. So it's sort of a level up without having an actual level up. Very, very cool. But now that's taken care of, we need to go ahead and backtrack. We need to find this flurry person who's going to help us find the way into their secret hole with their secret thingy. I'm not going to say more than that. We're just going to go. Ah, these woods are the most wonderful in all the world. Yes, indeed. Building a house here was just the finest idea I did ever have. Oh my, yes! This place is so different from the bright flashbulbs of the world I'm used to. Such peace! This negative image of the real world soothes my body and soul. But what's even better is that I, Madame Flurry, grow ever more lovely here. Plus, those squishy, adorable little punies that live in that tree are so nice to me. But, I suppose if I stay here too long, I'll begin to crave and hustle before long. Oh, oh my, it's already happening even as I speak. Already I feel the need for drama. That moment of exhilaration when the spotlight shines down on the stage. On me! Surely I was born to be an actress for the ages. It's settled then. I shall rise again. But before I make my stage come back, I simply must whip my body and mind into shape. I'll just have to put on some makeup and make my beauty even more beautiful. Wait a moment. No! It's gone! Gone, I tell you! 